Today has been a long time coming. I planned this series months ago. The idea was to have a beta save with Arsenal and then move straight into this game as soon as the beta was over. Computer problems meant that I realised that I needed a new computer and that the new series would wait until then. When it did arrive, I thought that Dell had messed it up. They hadn't, but my monitor has packed up. I'm actually recording this on my television screen with the, my normal webcam and the, the new computer. But after all this time, today is the day. We're moving planes. So here we are. Um, this is uh, my new manager. Um, and as you can see, he has a familiar name. The reason for this is pretty simple, really. Um, uh, for the last few years, I've got into the habit of using the star player from my last save uh, to be the manager for um, for the next game. And recently, well, actually, that's always been a regen. Uh, Rudy Puech, who was the um, star of my Courchevel save in the last FM, uh, was my manager for Arsenal in the beta save. Uh, but Erling Haaland, what can I say? He was unbelievable. He still is. I'll come back to that game. Um, people watching me on Twitch at Great Out Man. We will see that again because uh, it's too good a team not to refer to. But for now, Erling Haaland has taken over at AC Zafirana. Um, and this is the start, hopefully, of a, of a long journey that will take us to Syria and beyond. Um, this is our current expectations. Um, it says we should play off. Now, I'm surprised by that, I have to say, because we're 451 a week to win the title. Um, and that's a problem. We have got a bit of budget. Um, we're going to accept it because we can't really not do that. We've got a bit of budget and we've also got a few decent players. Um, I deliberately didn't spend the whole budget because it's quite difficult when you're, when you're doing the creator club, it's quite difficult to get a good balance of players. So I thought, well, I'll get, I, I could see there were four players who were decent and then a whole load of players who were decent potential. Now they probably won't make it because we'll have rubbish facilities. Um, but that is, you know, the basis of a, you know, a half decent team, a right winger, a left winger, a striker and a central midfielder, I hope and a half-decent goalkeeper with a familiar name as well, uh, and then a whole load of youngsters who can come in and hopefully um, cover when necessary. I'm going to now go out and um, see what I can do about improving this this team. Uh, obviously, we're going to need a lot of um, people coming in. I don't think there's a huge amount of point in me coming back and talking about this squad before the first game of the season, so I will be back at the end of our first transfer, transfer window. It may be that we can bring more players in after that, uh, but certainly at the beginning of the season, it probably could be just before the Sunday. We might come in uh, sometime, somewhere in the midweek before that, uh, after that last friendly. Um, and we will be back to see how far we got with that. Uh, and let's see if we can start building a history. Obviously, some of these players will be quite important players for us. I'm sure Sebastiano Sassi looks like a very decent striker at this level. Um, and we've got you know attacking possibilities around. Defence clearly needs a bit of work. So I'm going to go away and do that now. And hopefully you can join me after that. And here we are on the first day of the season, um, or the, the league season. We have actually had a um, cut game. Sorry about, about the um, slightly odd uh, way that I'm going to be looking at the moment because I'm looking at the screen over there uh, above you um, and trying to look into the camera as well. So it's a bit odd. Um, we have had the uh, Liga first round, which we lost. Uh, unfortunately, we were very unlucky, actually, I thought, I thought uh, to lose to Monopoly here. Um, we had the better of the game, significantly, had a lot of, lot of shots, went ahead. We had that moment of madness, a little bit like Arsenal yesterday, uh, when Monopoly scored two in the space of six minutes. So um, the Coppa Italia Lega Pro is gone. But actually, it wasn't really a, a competition that I was particularly bothered about. It was never going to be... Um, uh, competition that we were going to win and anyway even if we had won it, it didn't really give me many um, much much of a benefit there wasn't a lot of money to be had uh, it, it was a you know the event is under 23s were the were the holders so it was hardly going to be a prestigious competition to win so we're coming into now the first league game of the season we have made quite a lot of improvements to the squad so you're going to see now um, the squad has become quite decent now the defense and the ball being a midfielder, bit of a problem. Uh, and I've just noticed that because we've improved this, this squad so much, we do now need a goalkeeper. These, the goalkeeper, I sh should point out, was a five-star... Um, oh, no, actually, no, he's five-star potential, wasn't he? Let's just quickly go to the squad builder. Um, he's now four-star potential. So the quality of the squad has improved enough that a five-star potential player is now a four-star potential player. Uh, 
can't remember if we had a white star there or not, but one way or, one way or the other, it's certainly progress. So the team that we're going to go in for today, well, as you can see, there are some issues. Hopefully, I should be able to register players, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so we've made quite a lot of improvements, as you can see. Um, I'm really happy with the team going forward. I think we're going to score a lot of goals. Uh, and defensively, well, there's time still to improve the squad. Um, and we will be looking for a lot of um, free agents anyway. So for, for them, there will never be a transfer window. I don't know what the transfer window rules are at this level in Italy. Um, I guess we will find out. Um, but that is the team for today. Um, and the very first league game for um, AC Zafarana. Uh, so hopefully we can... Just settling. The reason why I'm lying back in my chair for this video is simple, really. Um, it's because I'm on my TV, which is up high, uh, and it's going to really hurt my neck. So this, for this particular video and perhaps the next few, I will be playing like this. Um, but hopefully, well, I, I know for sure that the, um, the the cable that I need is coming. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but it's coming. I think possibly by Friday. I'm just going to move myself forward a bit. I've moved over as much as I can. There we are. Now I'm in the centre of the screen. Um, so, yeah, as I say, this is not ideal as a start to the series, but, hey, it's, it's something I can improve on, and I'd got to the point where I was I wanted to bring you this really badly, uh, and I wanted to start off the series. So I thought, do you know what? It's not perfect to play on my TV, but it'll do for today, um, and it'll do for a few days, hopefully. So this is my first team for AC Zafirana. We've got Wozniak in goal. Ventola at right back, left back Karkalis, centre backs Guidi and Gregorio, both need massive upgrades. Deramo will fill in at um, ball wing builder. I think I need to get a, a, a better Mitsala. Uh, I'm wondering if Trikovic might be better actually. Doesn't make a lot of difference, does it? For now, I'm going to go with Cristini. Um, and then we've got Nesta and Demarcus on the wings. Nesta's been the, the star of pre season, if you look at his form. Fantastic form with um, for us. Um, and then Nepi and Sassi up front. Sassi scored the first goal for um, the club. Uh, set up by Nesta. Uh, so Nesta and Sassi so far, I think, are the, the two big stars of this side. Hopefully, we can start thinking about um, some other stars coming into the team soon. More in, more in defensive areas, because that's what we're going to need for sure. Uh, but that is the team for today. And register those players. There's no one else that we can put on the bench, I don't think. Yes, we can. Crivello. Uh, so we've got lots and lots of subs that we can use, which is quite helpful. I'm not going to put Swaver on the bench. He's not quite fit. And there's no point in putting grayed out players on the bench, I don't think. We've got less left sided players plenty. So we will go straight into the side, to the game, sorry. A couple of squad numbers to give out. And as you can see, we have made a few changes from the League Cup game. Gregorio Carcalis and Demarcus coming in for Jubilato, Esposito and Cajoli. They're all three, all three of them are new signings, so that's the reason for those. And we're warming up for our first league game as Zafarana. Um, there you can see the first 11 that I've ever picked for this brand new team in Serie C. Of course, we will be keeping an eye throughout the whole of the save on Palermo, who will be our rivals. There are, they are our local rivals for, for sure. Hopefully there will be competitive rivals shortly as well. Sassy. Can't quite find Nippy. And that's gone over the bar. It's not a great start. We were already uncautious. I'm wondering whether perhaps it's perhaps going to be inviting the team, the uh, opposition on a little too much. Nesta. Crosses the ball. Finds Nepi. And Sassy's there. He scored the first goal for us in competitive games. He's now scored the first league goal for Zafarana. Uh, and this is terrific. Absolutely brilliant for us. Uh, great start. Let's hope we can hold on to this like we didn't do in the league game, uh, the league cup game. But Zafarana obviously have gone ahead. To say the other team I'm particularly interested in really are Palermo because they are the local rivals. Ideally, really, I'd like to go up with them. Sort of, I'd like I'd like for them to follow us up the leagues a bit. Sassi nearly gets a second there. Oh, Palermo. Not having enough time between between them. Highlights to check, really. Oof. I'm going to pause it quickly. Just check where Palermo are. Am I missing them? There they are. Palermo playing Bari. So that's, uh, you would think, a clash of the titans in this division. Both of them, obviously, 
Serie A staples for many, many years. But uh, Palermo are definitely going to be our, our main rivals. So Ferrana, really not that close to Palermo, but um, as far as Sicily is concerned, they are in, well, they're both in Sicily, let's face it. Still nil-nil with uh, in the Bari game. Headed over. Um, we have actually been the better team. It feels like the highlights have mostly been theirs, but in terms of XG, we've had more. And Toulouse, uh, Toulouse, sorry, equalises. Oh, no, it's been disallowed. That's good. Um, it probably would have been justified, to be honest. I feel like they've been, you know, there's been a lot of shots. They haven't necessarily been the biggest XG, but there have been a lot of shots. Um, we need to perhaps be creating a little bit more. This is where I'd like to get creative. Shout. We've got a penalty. Guidi is going to take the penalty, apparently. I hadn't actually set that, but Guidi has made it 2-0. Nice goal for him. And it looks like we're going to have a good start to our league history. Roberto running Wyatt right away from home. Still 0-0 at Bari. Bentala. This is a fantastic start. De Ramo to Gregorio. It's a slightly poor shot, but... I want to see more of that, to be honest, in, in Football Manager. I feel like at the lower levels, you don't see... Like, it feels like it's exactly the same game. I mean, I, I don't know if that's true this year, because I've only been playing as Arsenal, but it feels like the same game, whether you play at the top level or the bottom level. Um, it shouldn't do. It should feel... No, there should be more silly misses. There should be more really big errors. I haven't noticed that yet, apart from that one time it occurred to me. But And I do realise as well that you perhaps don't see it as much as you, you should do on... Highlights. Bar Bari have scored against Palermo, so that's good. We are currently the best team in Sicily. Nepi can come off for Kajoli. So Lucy's in. It's going to make the last few minutes interesting. That was a very good goal. I mean, it's route one, but Lucy did very well. He's going to carry on with that technical change. Christini can come off for Trikovic. Might be too late. Free kick. It's gone over the top. That's good. Three minutes to hold on. Guidi's not had a great game. A goal when he's only seven. I don't think he defended all that well. Talisi. And they have equalised. That's a gut punch, that. That's an absolute gut punch. We let it go just at the end. Oh, God. We're not going to lose, are we? No. Oh dear. So we don't get our first win. Despite being 2 0 up in what, 90th minute? Or was it 85th? Might have been 85th when they scored their first one, I think. Surely that's full time, ref. Come on, ref. Full time. Full time. Full time. Full time, full time, full time. Yeah. Just as we were on the attack, of course. Oh, that's really frustrating. 87th minute, they, they got their first goal. And then 93rd minute. That was hard. I, yeah, that was not fun. I haven't, I haven't enjoyed that, to be honest. <laughs> so there we are. Bari have beaten um, Palermo, so we are still the best team in Sicily. Obviously not, not what we were after here. Um, Demarcus making his debut, along with quite a lot of people, so I don't quite know why they've pull, pulled that up. I think I can be fairly proud of that performance. I don't think it was a bad performance at all. Um, I think we were a bit unlucky. Well, we were very unlucky, actually. Um, Nesta is obviously looking like a really good player. Sassy's getting goals. Yeah, it was an unlucky way to lose, but I guess that's what happens. Um, and we will have plenty of lucky wins, I'm sure, as this save goes on. We've only had one win, um, but we've been scoring goals and we've been improving. A few of these games we, we deserve to win, even if we didn't necessarily need to. And obviously, we've been ahead in both of these games um, without having a huge amount of luck so far. So we'll be back for um, a game. Prob I'll probably come back sometime in October for someone, one of the teams that's at the beginning of, sorry, that sort of had a good start. We will obviously be coming, for, coming back for Palermo game at some point for the, um, the derby. Uh, but for the moment, that will be it for now. So keep watching. Come follow me on Twitch where I'll be playing this game more. Um, you can come in. I'll, I'll be playing a fair bit for the next couple of days, certainly, uh, and really getting into the save. Um, and then you should there should be another video as well tomorrow. So enjoy.
So thank you for watching my first episode of the Moving Plate series. We will be back tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, please drop a follow, leave a like, etc., etc. And I will be back with another episode of this fantastic save. I hope you'll agree um, on those foothills of Mount Etna, um, taking AC Zephyrana and taking them all the way, hopefully, to the top one day. Back tomorrow.